Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genga. So, uh, last day of the event. If you're going to coin, use Aptoid, promo code Gengas. Information how to do it is in the description to the video. And I'm going to give you a reason why, if you haven't coined yet this event, you might want to. So I know people are fed up with the game and don't want to, but right here, historical general summoning. I just kind of discovered this today, playing around, uh, looking through my generals, trying to make pairings. I want to make multiple siege general pairings. And... I want to have three or four different marches so I can reinforce teammates. The problem is they don't all pair together. They all block out the gold skill book. And this guy seems to be perfect as an assistant. So Ebony made an adjustment to him a couple days ago. They didn't tell anybody. But uh, it used to say bring any dragon or spirit or any it used to say any spiritual beast. Now they added dragon. So that kind of makes him a more viable option as a lead general. Now, as an assistant with a spiritual beast, he is perfect. And he gives you gives our spiritual beast that we don't even use a purpose. The rest of his stuff is nothing too great, but uh, he's good enough. At least it's siege buffs all the way through. He's pretty solid. Now, the key is he can be an assistant for anybody. I got one of him. I'm debating if I should get a second. Because with one of him, it will give me three siege pairings. If I get another, it'd be four. Is that overkill? Maybe, maybe not. But we're kind of a mid-level, upper mid-level alliance. And, you know, sometimes they got to pre-reign people. And that can be a factor that I got to consider. So let's look at my general pairings. So on my wall here. I took off my wall general because I just wanted to play around here and just show you how difficult it can be to pair some of these. So Zuka as lead. Who can we put as assistant? Can we put Ramses as assistant? Yeah, so Ramses works. Go two gold skill books there. But you're going to start to see it's not easy. Philip gets blocked out. Why? Because supreme power is the same. So you can't use Sir Philip with Zuka. Who else we got here? Can you use Churchill? Nope. It's very hard some of these generals to match together. Patronus? Nope. So it becomes really difficult. Serena. Serena works with Zuka. Okay, so that's a viable option. That's a good pairing problem with Serena is you can't use an attack skill book right here Edward teach works and all of the books there's no problem with it now just to show you that Edward teach this is the key he does not have an issue with the attack skill book so I have Matthias here who has an attack skill book because that's the whole key to this you don't want the person to conflict with the main skill book or with the attack book and he doesn't so he works as an assistant there and now i had let's go with we had zuka as the lead there let's go with patronus as the lead can patronus pair with matthias yeah can he pair with U ulysses yeah the older guys seem to have no problem pairing pairs with ramses does he pair with zuka Nope, we already knew that. We tried that one last time. Pair with Phillips? Nope. Serena? Yeah, they're a good pairing. So Serena seems to pair with people. But uh, the problem is he can't take that book. Napoleon? Nope. Napoleon's one of the few older uh, siege generals, the old guard, that doesn't pair well with people. So that kind of sucks. But... Edward Teach pairs with anybody. So he's kind of sneaky, really good in that way. Let's do one more here. Let's go with uh, Sir Philip as the lead. And let's see how he pairs with people. I'll try a couple of the older ones. So he pairs with uh, Ulysses. Does he pair with Ramses? Yeah. Zuka? Nope. I believe Patronus is a note. Churchill, nope. 
Where's Patronus right there? Nope. But he will pair with Edward Teach and with just a spiritual beast, you do get that extra 10% to get 40% of the attack on. So Edward Teach, pretty excited about him. So I definitely have one of him. Uh, and I got 11 more hours to think about whether I'm going to add a second. I think getting a few more would be overkill. And personally, my strategy with... Uh, I've been saving all of these up a lot. I got 53. And me, I'm not a massive coiner. So I'm really hoping, and Ebony hasn't done it, maybe because Ebony knows this would be kind of a, like a cheat code for mid-level coiners. I'm really hoping they put a super debuff general here. And then I would go get 16 of them to fully ascend or a duty officer. But so far, all they've done is PvP, PvP, PvP. And... I don't really want to spend all the rune stones and cultivating and everything all over on a new general. So I'm kind of of the mindset that the ones I got, that's who I'm rolling with till I'm done. So anyways, let me know your thoughts on Edward Teach. Is he the most flexible assistant out there, which makes him kind of a jack of all trades, really good to have in your fleet of generals. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.